First thing I'm going to do is we're going to go back to our player inventory script. Um, okay. So I'm just going to create a new variable here. I item picked up. You know what I'm going to call? You know, screw this. I'm going to call this item tracker. I'm going to equal this to another dictionary. And then this one here. I called it missiles pickup. And since I'm here, I might as well fix my spelling. And this can be done. Okay, so what this is going to do. Now I did this on um, a separate script, but I might as well just use the same one. So what this is going to do is it's going to keep track of items that we've already picked up. And if we've already picked them up, we don't want them respawning when we go to another map. So essentially, every time we um, every time we load in, um, every time we load into another map, we it's going to check this item tracker and see um, if there's an item in there, and if it's in there it's going to instantly delete it from the scene that way the player can't pick it up again and we can actually use this as well to um, add it or, or we can actually use this as well for our menu so if there's any upgrades that we've collected we can have it check this particular list and then it will automatically add it to our menu or our inventory menu so let's do that right now. I don't remember where this was at. I think that I didn't pick up. Okay, let's go back to item upgrade. I'm just going to do like this. So I need to fix the item upgrade, for example, for a minute here. I'm gonna fix that to missile. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bunch of new variables here. That way, we have um, we have a way to track this stuff. So first one I want is export item ID equals zero, and then we're gonna do whoops. We're gonna do another export variable. Make sure we get that, and this is gonna be pick up type and this is also going to be equal to zero so eventually what we're going to do with these numbers is once we pick up an item it's going to check the item ID and we're going to store it in that item tracker that we have and if it's inside this item trackers um, list it won't spawn it but it it won't spawn it in the, the level after we picked it up, but it'll also keep track of if we do have it, we'll we'll have it loaded into our menu because we've already picked it up. So, um, okay, since I'm here, um, let's just add a bunch of variables that we're not gonna use just yet. I just need the maximum missiles. Variable max missiles. That's going to be equal to zero. All right, we're going to use that as well um, a little bit later. That's just going to limit our uh, our amount of missiles that we're going to be getting. So now that we got that done, we're going to go to item upgrade, and we're going to start adding that into our system right now. Okay, so now that we have all those variables. What I want to do is I'm going to change this from uh. I don't know why I put uh there, but whatever. <laughs> I only want this to happen is if the pickup type is equal to zero. And those pickup types that are equal to zero, those are going to be labeled as our upgrades. Now you can use a string if you want, but um, coding languages 
are much better at crunching numbers than they are at strings. So this just makes it more efficient. Um, and then we, we don't have to do anything with this. And then the next thing we want to do, I know this is gonna be a bit weird, but I need it. Oh, no, 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 this is, no, this is perfectly fine. I need another one that's also gonna check um, if it's an upgrade, but I only wanna check it once. So again, if pickup type is equal to zero, I want it to add it to that um, item tracker that we had created earlier. So let's do player, what the hell? Let's make sure we're in the right thing of a dagger. Player inventory dot item tracker. And then what we want to do What I want to do is I want to grab that item name. Okay. And then I'm gonna have a plus and I'm going to add something here. I just need to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Missiles pick up. Yeah. So I need to do S and then pick up. Okay. I know this looks a bit weird. Give me one second here. Dot append and item ID. Okay. So what's happening here is in the player inventory we have an item tracker. And it's gonna look for the item's name, which is right up here, missile. But <clears throat> we have it written differently here. This which will cause a crash because these names don't match. So all I'm doing is once it gets the item name, which is a string, I want to concatenate it. And all that means is that I'm just gonna add two strings together. And um, so I'm gonna concatenate or add these strings together, the last bits of the word that are missing. That way um, I can keep this these names consistent without having to create new variables at all if that makes sense. And then it's just gonna append the item to the, um, it's gonna append it to the trackers with the ID. And then again, once it checks the ID, you'll be able to do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So um, that's all that's happening. So just to recap here, it's gonna grab an item. Remember, it's gonna grab the power up and it's gonna see that it says missile. But our item tracker is looking for the word missiles pickup. So it will cause a crash. All we're doing is concatenating it, adding them together to create the missiles pickup. That way it doesn't crash. But we can still keep the name variables the same without having to change them. That's that's all that's for. Okay. Now, with that being said, all right, so we're gonna create a couple of new functions here. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go function uh, max capacity, big word, capacity increase, pass, and then we do another one, function, and what did I call this? I think I called it like limit to max capacity, yeah. Limit to max capacity. All right, and we're gonna pass as well. <laughs> all right, so all these these two methods, uh, excuse me, these two functions are going to do is, once we call this one here, it's going to increase our maximum capacity. So in this particular case, it's going to be, um, it's going to be our missiles. So we're going to get an extra five every time we we grab an upgrade, and then the limit is to make sure that when we pick up a standard missile, that it only increases it until we have our max limit and it never goes over that. <sighs> All right, what's time looking like? Oh, goodness gracious, 48 minutes. Jesus Christ, each one gets longer and longer. All right, so, um, so let's, let's, before I even do that, let's do this. I want to make sure that um, in the future, when we start doing um, when we start doing doors, I don't think we're going to do them today, obviously. 
Um, I want to make sure that um, these things disappear. Dot has item ID, and then we're just going to queue free. Okay. And all this is going to say is, it's like I said, it's going to look to the, the item tracker list. And if we've already picked up the item, it'll be in the, it will look for that item's ID. And if it's in there, it's just going to get rid of it. That way we can't pick it up again. So, so yeah. All right. Now that that's done, let's start with the, um, let's do max capacity first. So I have a parameter in here and it is called upgrade. So what we're going to do is all the way down here where it says if pickup type is equal to zero, <clears throat> we are going to add the max capacity increase. And then it's going to ask for the upgrade parameter that we have. So the one that we want to upgrade is going to be the name, the item's name. And then once we have that item's name, we want to increase if, if upgrade is equal to missiles I don't know why I always miss that I we want to go to player inventory dot max missiles and we want to do plus equal to five so all this is saying is <clears throat> once we collect the missiles add uh, add five um, to our max count that way um, that way it constantly increases by inter intervals of five every time we get one um every time we get a missile upgrade okay now we want to limit that to just the amount of pickups that we've we've actually obtained so i need to go all the way back down here again and this time i want it outside of this function i want to limit to max capacity and then it's going to want the item id and we're going to want the item name And we're going to go back up to here and add those parameters in. And I call that get item type. And whoops, why are you on this side here? Try that again. Get item type. And then we want to get the item name. Indent. Yeah, okay, let's make sure. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so if you recall a little earlier, when I went to the item upgrades here, I added a couple of extra variables. Give me a second here. <clears throat> I added a couple of extra variables here, <clears throat> and these variables are going to identify what these items are. So, um, each of the item IDs are are going to be where the items are placed. So let's for, say, for example, um, this item's ID is one because it's on level one. If we collect that, it's going to go into our tr item tracker, and then when the item tracker sees it, it's going to say, "Oh, the missiles that were on level one have been taken, so I'm not going to load them in." And then down here, the pickup type is going to um, identify whether or not the, the item that we're picking up is either something that's normal, a standard a standard pickup, or if it's going to be the upgrade. And depending if it's the upgrade or if it's the standard, we'll, we'll, we'll tell Godot if it should expand our if it should ex expand our um, our missile capacity, or if it should just add more missiles until we reach our maximum capacity. 
All right, so that's what those are for, and now we're going to use those. So here we are going to say if get item type, and the get item type is going to be the items ID, right? Yes. It's going to be the items ID, and I'm going to make that equal to negative 1. So if it's a negative one, I want this to be the ID for standard, a standard. So ID for standard pickup. So this would be like your simple missile pickup or maybe like some of those little health and energy drops that you find when you kill an enemy. And then after that, we're gonna see how many of those that we want. So we want four X in range. And then we want to do get amount. And then after that, we want to say if player inventory dot inventory missiles. Whoops. Dot size. So this is it. It's going to be comparing a, uh, an, an integer is less than, whoops, player inventory dot max missiles. We want to add, we want to add that to our list, our inventory, or we want to add it to our inventory. And that one is going to be the get item name. So in that particular case, it'd be the missiles themselves that are going to be added to this list. Dot append, or I should say, um, it's going to look for the missile name, and then we're going to get item name again. I think I could have put item name up here as well, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> So I'm just gonna just do that to get item. Yeah. Okay. So if I did this correctly, what I'm gonna do now is go to the world and I'm gonna add a brand new pickup item here. Uh, I think it's item upgrade. Yeah. I'm gonna add a brand new item here. And this one I just want it to be the uh I want it to be a regular missile. So I think I said negative one for that one. If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna go back to my item pickups here and just find out one. And the item pickup, I want it to be one. So zero is gonna be our upgrade for the item type. And then one is just gonna be our standard. And then this, uh, I'm gonna change this down to two. Then this item is going to be the item ID. I want it to be negative one because I don't want it to be, it's nothing special. Um, so I'm just going to use negative and then for other items such as this one here, I could do item ID one and I can leave this as zero. And then I need to change this to a regular missile, whoops, which is still misspelled, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna hit play here. I just want to see something very quickly. Uh oh, it didn't. <laughs> it uh, didn't load in. All right, I figured it out. I um, I had these outside of the um, if statement. So the second they touched the ground, they were activating the the body collision, and they were queuing themselves free from the scene. So if I'm correct with this, this shouldn't do anything for me. Yep, but this should give me five still. Beautiful. Now what I wanna do is just double check and make sure that this missile over here gives me an item, so. Beautiful, and as you can see, it only gave me the one missile and it didn't go over. Let me make sure though that it's because, yep, 
get a minus two. And if I actually set this to five, it should still only give me one because it's limiting, whoops, it's limiting the amount of missiles I can get. So I'm gonna just fire a few. Remember, it should give me five, but it only gives me two because it's limiting it. So beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's a mistake right there. <laughs> At some point I gotta fix that bug where you can um, <laughs> unroll yourself from the ball. But um, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna end it there. <sighs> All right guys, good night. I am going to bed.